The structural integrity of any construction is determined by how effectively the joints and components are glued together. A broken bond spells disaster for a building project. It is critical to use the best procedures and materials available to ensure a quality build. And in accordance with this, did you know that fasteners, adhesives, and sealants are required for structural integration and bonding? Join us and after watching, you will definitely understand what they are and how vital they are to the construction industry. Let's hop into the video! Fastener is a broad term that refers to any hardware device that joins or affixes two objects, mechanically or otherwise. These include all forms of bolts, pins, studs, screws, washers, nuts, clasps, buckles, and clamps. These materials are everywhere and are big business for those who produce these vital hardware components. We use them around the home, in construction, and in mechanical engineering projects such as building the complex engines that power our vehicles. As with any modern technology, these products have advanced in terms of durability, strength, and how they function within products. Fasteners come in different shapes, sizes, and designs, each for different functions. Stainless steel serves as a great material for construction fasteners due to its ability to resist corrosion and heat and its strength. Steel, the most common fastener material. Steel can come plain or with surface treatments, including chrome or zinc plating or galvanization. Carbon steel is a popular material for fasteners due to its good tensile strength and ability to bear loads. Alloy steel, manufactured from a high-strength steel alloy, Alloy steel bolts and fasteners typically come unplated. This means that in terms of appearance, they have a black finish and while they're extremely strong, they can be brittle. Aluminum makes a great material for construction fasteners as its weight to strength ratio exceeds many other materials. Nuts, bolts, clips, screws, and other fastener types are made using a variety of processes. Machining, cold forging, and hot forging are the three most common methods. Machining is a way of deforming metals in order to make parts and components. A piece of metal can be bent and molded to match a desired pattern or form by cutting, drilling, turning, milling, and grinding it. Cold forming is also known as cold roll forming. It is the most prevalent process of making fasteners because of its speed and low waste. When machining or cold forming cannot create fasteners, hot forging is employed. The heating of the workpiece is an important aspect of hot forging. The workpiece is heated to its recrystallization temperature which can be as high as 1200 degrees Celsius or 2192 degrees Fahrenheit during the heating process. The metal's distorted shape is preserved when it cools due to the temperature at which it is heated. Advantages Weight reduction in the component is typically achieved. Minimum space requirements are needed within the tool. Tool maintenance is easy and simple. All surface coated sheet metal panels are feasible. Easy and simple installation in every work direction. Disadvantages Extra weight is added to the components. Bond lines are obvious. They require holes that weaken the components. They carry all load at specific points which contribute to fatigue. Difficulty to refastening, corrosion, and force precision. Depending on the needs, numerous types of fasteners are available on the market. Screws. Screw fasteners are one of the most versatile types of fasteners. The threaded shafts present give them a more durable holding power. These fasteners do not require anything to hold them in place. Screws come in a wide variety of types and can be named as follows. Wood screws, deck screws, and machine screws. Nails. A nail has greater shear strength and is a better choice for various applications. The types of nails are common nails, box nails, and brad nails. Bolts, nuts, and washers. 
Nuts and bolts are other common types of fasteners. These two pieces work together and hold the components together. You can insert the bolt into the two parts you want to join and then fasten it in place with the nuts. Anchors. These types of fasteners are used to connect something to a material like drywall or concrete. Fasteners are used in a variety of applications around us, including chairs, tables, stools, doors, windows, cooking utensils, electrical gadgets, and so on. Fasteners are widely used in the automobile industry, aircraft, agricultural equipment, marines, etc. In fact, Anytime equipment is dealt with, fasteners are constantly taken into account. Adhesive also known as glue, cement, mucilage, or paste is any non-metallic substance applied to one or both surfaces of two separate items that binds them together and resists their separation. Adhesives are typically organized by the method of addition, followed by reactive or non-reactive, a term which refers to whether the adhesive chemically reacts in order to harden. Alternatively, they can be organized either by the starting physical phase or whether the raw stock is of natural or synthetic origin. There are several different types of compounds from which adhesives are derived including acrylic, neoprene, polyurethane, silicon, and urethane. These various compounds can be categorized into larger umbrella groups, with the most commonly employed being synthetic materials, such as thermoplastic adhesives, thermosetting adhesives, elastomeric adhesives, and hybrid adhesives. Adhesives are typically made by dissolving natural rubbers in solvents, adding resins and other compounds, and then forming specific polymers using chemical catalysts or heat. Polychloroprene, styrene, polyisobutylene, polysulfide, polyamide, silicone, and polyurethane are the most common polymer-based adhesives made from rubber. Advantages of adhesive 1. The adherents are not affected by heat. 2. Uniform stress distribution. 3. Possibility to join large surfaces. 4. Possibility to join different materials. 5. Possibility to join very thin adherents. 6. Gas proof and liquid tight. 7. No crevice corrosion. 8. No contact corrosion. 9. No precise bits of the adherent surfaces are necessary. 10. Good damping properties and 11. High dynamic strength. Disadvantages of adhesive 1. Limited stability to heat. 2. Long-term use may alter the properties of the bond line. 3. Cleaning and surface preparation of the adherents is necessary in many cases. 4. Specific production requirements to be met. 5. Specific clamping devices are often required to fix the joint. 6. Non-destructive quality testing is only possible to a certain extent. Some common examples of adhesives are the following. Epoxy, cyanoacrylic, animal glue, cellulose, glue tack, casing glue, polyvinyl acetate, synthetic resin, acrylic cement, Vinyl adhesive, anaerobic adhesive. Floors. Floors are, for the most part, lumber framed and surfaced with a single layer of plywood or particle board. Adhesives are used between the plywood, single floor, and framing members to improve floor performance and take dynamic stresses. When engineering, our code requirements do not require a structural or elastomeric type adhesive to accommodate longer spans or reduce deflection. Builders occasionally use other adhesives, usually polyvinyl acetate. Walls 
Standard wood stud wall systems are almost universally used and are generally built in a sub-assembly area using special semi-automatic or automatic wall framing assembly machines. To further increase the rigidity of the wall, many manufacturers nail bond the siding or sheathing to the studs using elastomeric construction adhesives that do not sag or run down vertical surfaces. Sealants are material used in construction to keep fluids and other things from flowing through material surfaces, joints, or openings. They can also block the flow of air, dust, sound, insect, and others, as well as the function as a fire suppressing components. Sealants are often used to cover gaps between places that are too small to be filled with other materials, such as concrete, wood, or mortar. They have a wide range of qualities including strength, flexibility, appearance, permanence, solubility, and corrosion resistance. Sealants were first used in prehistory as mud, grass, and reeds to protect shelters from the weather. Plant resins such as pine pitch and birch pitch, bitumen, wax, tar, natural gum, clay mortar, Lime mortar, lead, blood, and egg were examples of natural sealants and adhesive sealants. Glazing putty was initially used in the 17th century to seal window glass manufactured with linseed oil and chalk. Subsequently, different drying oils were also used to make oil-based putties, which were commonly referred to as cocks. Polymers such as acrylic polymers, Butyl polymers and silicon polymers were first produced and utilized as sealants in the 1920s. Synthetic polymer-based sealants were commercially accessible by the 1960s. The main raw materials for the production of sealant generally include nanocalcium carbonate powder, pigment toner, and room temperature vulcanized methyl silicon rubber, coupling agent, catalyst, and other materials. The silicone rubber production process avoids water, and the moisture content is strictly controlled. Sealant mainly contains silicone rubber, polyurethane glue, and other products. Advantages of sealants Sealants usually preserves longevity of the building structure, enhances structural strength, improve building stability, to prevent or reduce infiltration of wind, rain, and airborne contaminants. It also exhibits a wide range of temperature performance, which enables dynamic joints to compensate for building movement while retaining adhesion. Sealants also help preserve other sustainable building material by preventing elements from entering a building structure. This increases the structure's overall sustainability. These advantages of sealants. First, Passibility of surface dirt retention due to static charge. Second, not successfully paintable. Third, primers may be required on some surfaces. Fourth, deterioration of sealants due to prolonged exposure to water, ultraviolet light, and freeze thaw cycles. Some of the most common types of sealants include acrylic resins, butyl rubber, expanding foam, latex sealants, polysulfide sealants, polyurethane sealants, and polyisobutylene. Sealant can be used or applied for asphalt tiles, pipes, cement or concrete, glass, roofs, and woods. All, I hope you learned something today about fasteners, adhesives, and sealants. See you again next time!